Hello there everybody, welcome back to another special episode of Guapish Rule 34. As always, I'm your host Nico, and today I am being joined by the Dojin Master himself, Jackson. Yes, I'm not addicted to porn. <laughs> I'm not. He has a t-shirt that says that. Please patch it, somebody else, please! I beg you! <laughs> he walks around supermarkets with his I'm not addicted to porn shirt. And people start clapping. Like, good for you, man. And of course, we are also being joined by what can only be described as a Dojin novice, as embarrassing as it is, Tanner mm. Nikolai. I, I feel like I'm already an expert, but uh, yes, I am the Dojin novice, Tanner Nikolai. I don't know why you brought up my last name this time, but whatever. It's already <laughs> out there, so. We gotta make sure the people uh, know, yeah. Tanner. This is very important. Anyway, as Nico alluded to, uh, we, we did a Dojin themed uh, gimmick, I guess we're going to call it, where uh, Nico and Jackson each sent me two Dojins to, to review. So I read them, and uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just review them. Let's see. That's right. Let's start with uh, Skill Kyoka Kaiken. Yeah, I was going to ask you to try and pronounce the names as best as you could. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm going to pronounce the English names as best I can. Okay, okay. So we got Skill Kyoka Kaiken. Um, so all I wrote down for this one is, did I miss something here? This is like regular vanilla ass porn. <laughs> uh, and as we established before we started recording, Jackson didn't understand that the point of this was to just disgust me and make me regret being human. So uh, yeah, we just kind of got so so so. I don't know. Should, do you want a plot rundown? <laughs> yeah, give me the plot rundown. Uh, from what I gathered from the tags, it seems to be related to Fate, uh -huh, Fate uh -huh. whatever, Fate something or other. I don't know anything about that anime series, so it completely escapes me. But you got you got two girls, and they're like, I think, based on the dialogue, they're like goddesses or something or whatever. Anyway, it's just like a normal, oh, I get, like, power from your cum. <laughs> and, and so they fuck this guy in, for his cum. No, Tanner. That's the... Yeah. Uh, what about the Fate series? Can you tell me now that you have read this Dojin? Would you say you are an expert, <laughs> dude? I I I couldn't tell you the like. Let me see. Let me see. What 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 do I think I know about the Fate series? Yeah. I based based on just the Dojin sheet. I think the Fate series is some kind of fantasy world where, like the the guy would refer to one of the girls, or one of the girls refer to herself as his goddess, so are there, like, humans that get paired up with, like, goddesses, and then they go around and fight shit or something? Does Legit that have anything to do with that series? Legitimately not a terrible guess. It's like a it's like a battle royale with, like, historically non-accurate people, is how I describe oh, okay. it. okay. Like, they basically get... Somebody that's like, for example, like King Arthur and like some historical person, and then they all fight to the death. There's like twelve of them or something. Also, King Arthur and is a girl, Tanner. Yeah, they're okay. a girl in this. <laughs> was King Arthur real, is or is he like a legend? No, I don't think King Arthur was a real person. Hmm. To my knowledge, he was a, he's just like a made-up tale. I see. I don't know. I I think I thought he was real, and they just kind of like embellish some shit for him. I think it was. Just, I think it was just a cool little story, to my knowledge. Anyway, I guess I'll do the other one. Jackson sent me. Well, Tanner, did you enjoy Pretty Best what? Girl Ishtar in that Dojin? Yeah, I guess I enjoyed it. It was. It was <laughs> fine. Let's go. Let's go. I'm but surprised you got girl, that. Tanner? Both of us had such clear distinctions in what we were sending you. Yeah. I thought I was gonna. I thought uh, I was gonna be more up pretty, in the air, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, one of them was a was a Dragon Ball thing. You think I'm gonna believe that came from you? That's fair. Jackson's anyway, watched the entire yeah. Dragon Ball. I watched a decent amount of Dragon Ball. Yeah, I don't yeah, fucking I understand any of it, and it was years ago, but I definitely did it. There you go. Uh, the other one Jackson sent me is uh, Shino Sama is angry. Uh huh. And the uh, all I wrote down for this one on my my review docket here is uh, I think Jackson missed the point of making me do this. This is just normal <laughs> porn. <laughs> so uh, to be honest, I can't even fucking remember what Shino Sama is angry about. <laughs> or no, fuck, it, it starts with, like, a girl asks a guy to lick her feet, and then he, like, fucks her. <laughs> that's, like, the whole thing. That, it, like, I don't know, that's all there is to it. <laughs> that's fair, honestly, that's fair. <laughs> um, 
Let's see. Let's go into super lychee juice or lychee. Yeah, that's Whatever. the one. Uh, this is a Dragon Ball Dojin. It's about. Uh, I, I think her. What was her name? Was it? Is it Lychee? Yeah, I is think that it the is girl's Lychee. Name? Okay. And then Broly, which, if I remember correctly from the many uh, rants Nico has told me about Dragon Ball, is Goku's dad? No, that's Bardock. Oh, fuck. Who's Broly? So, Broly is a Saiyan who got, like, ejected or whatever the fuck uh, at the same time as Goku. Basically, him and his father got banished because Broly was too powerful as a baby. So the the Empire, or whatever the fuck, just feared him too much. <laughs> so they sent him off into space so he could not fuck around with the Saiyans. <laughs> that okay? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's a beefy boy. Yeah, he is. He, he's a large man. Um, let's see. The whole plot of this one is, I, I think Lychee and Broly are like trapped on a planet with some other guy mm -hmm. for some reason. Is this canon? Like, is this something that they they that they took from a show or the movie or whatever the fuck and then turned into a dojin. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so they're, they're trapped on this planet together and uh, Lychee started, she finds Broly kind of hot or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so she's masturbating to him. And then Broly and, and this old, I think he's a Namekian, start watching her. And she's just going to town, man. She is, she is masturbating away. Uh, and Broly is, I guess he's kind of stupid, is his thing. He's like, right there, what she doing? She's saying my name, I should go help her. And then the, the old man is like, shut the fuck up, Broly, you stupid bitch. Keep watching her. Um, and then and then she starts squirting. And then Broly's like, dude, she's peeing. And he's like, she, the old man says, uh, she's not peeing, uh, she's squirting. Uh, to which I wrote down in my review, little did they know, that was pee. <laughs> Uh, because Squirt is P, guys. That's right. Um, no way. It is 99% and, <laughs> and then Broly gets a boner, and he's just like, oh, what the fuck is happening? My pee pee big. And then the old man's like, wow, you've never gotten a boner, Broly? That's crazy. Um, and then it's like the next day, and Broly just walks up to the girl with his massive boner, and he's like, you made my pee pee hard. You need to do something about it. That's a classic and then they start, thing. <laughs> and then they start fucking. And it's a whole lot of, oh my god, I'm going to die. He's ripping me in half. Like, yeah. that's like the whole thing the mm -hmm. whole time. Um, a lot of cum. Oh, just an unbelievable amount of cum. There's so much of it, Tanner. There's so much. So of much it. cum. Just, just too much, frankly. Uh, and, and it's like. I, I think this one was like 40 pages long. It's just 30 of them are just some fucking. Yeah. Um, the only other scene that really stood out was, was she gave birth and he was ass fucking her at the same time. <laughs> you know, that's funny or whatever. Uh, and then I think it's like an end credit scene or whatever where Goku shows up and they have like dozens of kids. He's like, wow, Broly. <laughs> you made all these kids. That's crazy, or whatever the fuck that doofy bitch sounds like. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, I'd say. Yeah, that's that's super leechy juice. Jackson, how did and, you like uh, this one? How did you like that one? Did pretty you read it, Jackson. I did. It was pretty interesting. Is how I'd describe it. I think I, I think say... impregnation as part of the plot of hentai is fucking weird as fuck to me. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. What is it that you will say, Tanner? I will say, never masturbated to the Dragon Ball one. Uh huh. Did a little bit to the other two. Ah, uh, I mean, didn't finish because I had a job to do. But of course, I mean that's one hundred percent fair. Mm hmm. I will say, so for the last one, Werewolf yes. Classroom. The second I realized what it was, uh. I went to my bathroom, uh, pulled up some normal porn on my phone, and wanked one out, just so that there was no possibility of anything uncouth happening while reading this. Um, <laughs> that, that's entirely fair. I will say, uh, this final dojin is like one of my favorite things in existence, I'll say. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it, is, it is just non-stop hilarity from start to finish. It is just the greatest thing ever created, Tanner. I love it so much. 
I will say, it is not good nut material whatsoever, but hot damn, does it just keep giving. <laughs> okay, so... Let me go ahead and read just the, the review I wrote for this one. <laughs> okay, so it's about a substitute teacher, and then uh, with asterisks around this part, for grade schoolers, uh, who causes all his students to compulsively want to mate with him. Yes. Uh, just be, what, just when he enters the classroom, it causes all the girls to have their first periods. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Uh, and then the, and then like, four of the girls show up after that happens. So like, we want to fuck you, teacher. And then, it, it's kind of unclear, but it seems like he grows three extra cocks, <laughs> and then fucks all four of the girls at the same time. Mm -hmm. At least that's how I interpreted it. Um, there's this really weird, cringy dialogue about how I am, I'm like the alpha male or whatever, and like all the male students just sit in the classroom watching him fuck their, their co, uh, co-students. What, what's it? Classmates. Classmate. There, there you go. go. Co-student. <laughs> and then, and then he's about to fuck one of the students and this kid is like, I've been in love with her since kindergarten. You're, you stop it. And he's like, you're going to grow up to be an alpha one day. And, and then he fucks the girl anyways, and the kid's sad. So, um, let's, I think it's like like a janitor or something. He finds out about this, and then he's he's like blackmailing a girl into fucking him, or else he's he's gonna tell on the substitute teacher and you know get him killed or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then when the substitute teacher finds out that this janitor like force force the girl to have sex with him. He, uh, he fucking blows a hole in the guy's head by getting a boner. <laughs> but then, like, then, like, the guy is fine. Like, he's yeah. back, like, I don't know what the implication there is. The implication is that he's also a werewolf, Tanner. So, is, is that, because, yeah, it's weird. It's like, he blows a hole in his head with his dick, and then the guy's back to life, and then he, and then it seems like he's kind of working for the werewolf. Yeah. From that point. So, uh, that happened. And then we get some world building. Uh, and it's, so werewolves have to fuck children because a girl's first ovulation has a higher likelihood of containing the werewolf gene. That's right. They give a, and, they give an actual reason as to why they're going after lollies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It makes so much sense. It's not like all the eggs in a woman's body would be genetically identical so the first one having some unique gene doesn't make any sense but anyway <laughs> at least uh, they tried Tanner. at least they tried it's not the thought that counts when it comes to fucking children <laughs> uh just... werewolf hunters show up and uh the guy he, he like gets all the girls to start running because he's like oh they're pregnant with my werewolf kids and so they're running with the woods, the werewolf hunters show up, and they're about to kill the werewolf. They're, they're like, being uh, real successful with it. When the Gants, the girls, stand in front of him to defend him, uh, and then one of the girls grows, like, dog ears. Not e No, it was cat ears, which makes no fucking sense. <laughs> they're, like, triangular. Yeah. Or I get, do Shibas have triangular ears? I don't know, whatever. They grow ears. And they realize they now have the the same power as him to make people compulsively want to fuck them. Mm -hmm. And so these girls then use this power to, to force all the hunters to start fucking them. Uh, these are children, mind you. <laughs> uh, and then after the, the, t the hunters are, they're too tired to keep fighting the werewolf. They're, they're just wiped out, man. Um... Yeah, and the werewolf doesn't kill them for some reason, which I don't understand. But anyway, uh, after that happens, the werewolf's like so thankful or whatever. And, he, and he's like, the girl with the ears is the only one who has the werewolf gene. And so she's the only one that can make werewolf children. And then he picks her up and they literally fly away. <laughs> uh, and then there was some post credit scene, which didn't make sense to me, so I'm going to ignore it. But uh, anyway, that yeah, that was awful, and I hated it. It was so <laughs> stupid and it's dumb. It's fantastic, Tanner. You oh, completely yeah. skipped over the part where <laughs> the moment the werewolf man is introduced, just within the opening couple of pages, he just walks into the room with a massive erection just, like, right through his pants. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> 
I forgot. I, you're right. I did forget about that. <laughs> and then he just sees. And then, like, like the pr- the principal like looks at him. And he's like, "I gotta do something about this." And he's like, "Eh, never mind." <laughs> this seems like an accurate person to put in my classroom with yeah, all these young they, kids. <laughs> he just cooms a fountain right through his pants. <laughs> He sure does. <laughs> oh yeah, it, he cooms a, pound, a fountain through his pants, and then it seems like it's the cum landing on the girls that causes them to then have their first menstruation. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really sad now, anyway. man. I would have I showed him pretty melt. That would have been sick. I think that's a little too hardcore to start with, Jackson. What are you talking about? <laughs> More hardcore than this? Yeah, Jet Tanner, yeah. That's where you get God. into like some of the weird fetish shit. Pretty Mouth has like this, every this single fucked a, up okay. fetish under the sun. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, that's why that do you want do you want out of ten? Uh real how quick, do you want me to rank these? Uh, what kind of ranking system are we using? So one other thing about that werewolf comic that I uh, that I really enjoyed was just that like the, the action in it later on is like surprisingly well done <laughs> like far more than it should have been mm-hmm. it was just absurd man i love it so much it's my favorite thing all right tanner what are your uh, what are your ratings what are your rankings for these bad boys i don't know what kind of what kind of ranking system do we want to use uh, that's a good question like what are we basing this on how much of an impression it left on you hey nico leave the call and come back because you're roboting okay what a dumb bitch. I hate that guy. What a dickhead. Yeah. Welcome oh, back. Oh, hey, Nico. Oh, hello there, everybody. All right, Tanner, rank mm. them now, you coward. Damn, he's still roboting. Oh, well. I guess we charge forward. Hell yeah. He uh, sounds normal what, for me. What, what, what am I ranking them based on? How much of an impression they left on you? How much of an impression? Okay. Uh, Shinosama is angry left like uh, a 1 out of 10 impression. I won't be remembering that. Uh, Skill Kyoka Kaiken is maybe a two. Super Lychee Juice, uh, I'll, I'll give that one a six in terms of the impression that, that left on me. And uh, Werewolf Classroom, I'll give it a solid 8.5. Let's go. That one will probably stick out in my mind for, for a hot second. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Successful. Part two, Nico's going to pick two dojins he just thinks are normal as fuck, and then I'll pick two fucked up ones. It's going to be sweet. <laughs> there, we there we go. go. I will confess, Tanner, the main re- <laughs> that werewolf comic was the main reason I wanted to do this, just because I found it and I needed to share it with people. <laughs> okay. You need to share werewolf uh, classroom with me. That's right. Has there ever been a doujinshi that's been turned into an anime? Yes. What? What is it? Literally fucking tons of them. Oh, okay. I, I think can't he's think talking of, like, about, like, a standard anime. I don't think he's talking about, like, a hentai. Why would porn get turned into an actual, like, TV anime? What do you mean? I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's absolutely, they get adapted to hentai. Okay. Yeah. I'm feeling a little anger coming off here right now, Jackson. I don't really appreciate I'm, the hostility. I'm just, I'm just questioning, you know, I'm, I'm more assuming that you're asking about it turning into hentai. I'm like, why the fuck would it ever get turned into anime? <laughs> How do you even, how the, how that even work? <laughs> Some studio just gets really into it. Dude. I mean, yeah. to be to be completely fair, there's a lot of really fucked up anime nowadays. So it's not yeah, actually it's not that, that that impossible, right? Yeah, like redo of a healer is like legitimately just fucking porn, <clears throat> and yeah, it's a TV one, anime. That one is basically hentai. Yeah, they there's literally a sex scene like multiple, like two or three in every single episode. Yeah. Well, I bite my words. That was quick. All I had to do was just yeah. think a second, and I was like, wait a second. This actually makes sense. That's right. What do you Man, know? This is, I, why, I, this I is why you can't introduce anime to people. <laughs> this is why. I got a question for you guys. What's up? How many Real Housewives shows do you think there are? Um, Let's go with, like, 40 of them. 40? Okay, that's a bit too high. Okay. I don't even know what real housewife shows are, so I'm just gonna say some random number. That being uh, 15. It's pretty close. There's 10 of them. Oh, okay. uh, let me see, N- <laughs> Nico. How, how how do you how would you explain the the basic idea behind the very popular reality uh, series Real Housewives of Insert City? All right, so check it out, Jackson. Here's how it goes. Uh, they find some geological location in which they can uh, create a show. 
typically a city of like New York or some shit, San Francisco, and they're like, okay, let's find some housewives who live here. Like, preferably some like rich, bougie ones, you know? And then they just record them. They just record them on their daily adventures. Mm, that sounds really fucking boring. Right? That's the thing. It's pretty Jackson. stupid, but it's impressively popular. Yeah. Isn't that like all, all of those shows like that? Like, there's tons of them where they're just like the most boring concept, but they're like crazy popular for some reason. Because of the wacky hijinks all these crazy yeah. housewives get up to. These bitches be crazy. Yeah. You know what the weirdest thing is? What's it? The, the city that I would probably say, oh, that's gotta be the least interesting location has the most seasons. <laughs> Which one's that? The Real Housewives of Orange County. <laughs> that one has 16 seasons. That's two more than second place. It's because they're just so down to earth, Tanner. They're much more relatable than the other yeah, ones. Yeah, Orange County is real down to earth. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah like gosh. in Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What's the what's the weirdest one on here? The weirdest one on here is Real Housewives of Podomac, is which is a name? region in Maryland. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, is that like just a street name or some shit? That <laughs> oh, was like a yeah. Native you, dude, American it tribe. Has six seasons. <laughs> what? <There's, laughs> How does that make any sense? Ask any viewer to point out where Podomac is on a map and they couldn't do it. Matter of fact, only two of these have actually ended. <laughs> do they have like big the only... season finales or some shit? Or did they just get canceled? <laughs> they all end in divorce. One, one had like a, defi a definitive ending and that's the Real Housewives of DC. Mm. Which I Trump think there'd elected? be some interesting stuff there, right? Yeah. No, that one only had one season in 2010. Oh, damn. Maybe they got caught, like, uh, with government secrets or something, so they were like, ah, we gotta stop this one. Everyone then, was wearing uh, an I'm with her shirt. <laughs> the only other one is uh, Real Housewives of Dallas, which is on indefinite hiatus. Damn. Yeah. I am I am insane. So, okay, there's one that premiered this year, or maybe hasn't premiered yet, but it's Real Housewives of Dubai. Uh-huh. Like, the country Dubai. The extremely Islamic religious country of Dubai. Yeah. How does that work? Because, like, I feel like the whole crux of these shows is that these women are crazy and they're sleeping around and they're cursing and, like, attacking people. How does that work in Dubai? Uh, they're Just higher stakes some, now. Well, they probably have some, like, rich-ass <laughs> foreigners that are completely exempt from most of those rules. Oh. Mm. I could also do it. That's, Dubai is, like... Yeah. Is like the vast majority of people there are just fucking expats, like rich ass fucking expats. God, they have so many ones in other countries. I kind of want to see the Israeli one. That sounds fun. They have three seasons of that. Okay, that All one right. I can't imagine how the fuck they get away with it. Right. Okay, so if if these shitty ass <laughs> shows are able to be so successful, Tanner, what is it that we're well, missing? What are we doing wrong, Tanner? Can I just point out one more? <laughs> well, yeah. What's it? The, the Real Housewives of Nairobi. <laughs> well, that's that's just funny to me. So strange. Okay, anyway, what what's our show missing? Yeah, what are we missing? How, well, why are we not succeeding as much as we should be? Uh, we're missing giveaways. Mm. You know, we need to be like, hey, you know, leave a comment with hashtag buttfuckers and we'll give you $1,000. <laughs> yeah. And the great part is we don't actually have to ever give out that money. <laughs> We just have to give it to one of- we have to just make one of our friends pose as a winner. And there say they got it. Alright Jack, exactly. you said you have like 40 alt accounts on YouTube or something like that, right? You can just do that easily for us. I have- I have a significant amount of Google accounts, yes, yeah, so I can make it work. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> what? Why? Uh, well I just have a bunch of Gmails and those all qualify as Google accounts. Oh, okay. I also feel like looking at other podcasts, other uh, all them other big podcasts, all the all them successful ones. I feel like we're just missing some like a diversity. You know, we don't have like a British guy or an Australian, just someone from a different country mm -hmm. from ours. We need to get Dylan to start talking in like a Southern African accent. <laughs> there you go. I'm I'm staying away from that one. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to be like, hey y'all, my name's Dylan. Anyway. But Tanner, uh, you actually live in the South. Why wouldn't you just do that? I do live in the South. That's crazy. Yeah. Holy shit, he does. Anyway, uh, I don't know. What country would we want someone from? I mean, preferably one that speaks English. 
Yeah, I'm saying Australia. Course. Australians are funny as fuck. They've got cool accents. Mm-hmm. And they their speak life, English. Their life is so Can different from ours. we get a Ukrainian ours? on here? Yeah. A Korean? Oh boy, do I have one for you guys. No, no, no. <laughs> a Ukrainian. Ukrainian, yes. I don't know any Ukrainians. Get some flavor of the week guest in here. He has yeah. bombs going off in the background of his audio recording. There you go. There you go. One week we have to come on and say, unfortunately, uh, Gustav or whatever the fuck they're named over there has been killed. <laughs> oh my what god. There's some Ukrainian names. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, Chekhov? Yeah, sure. That sounds accurate. I yeah. get it. Like, Chekhov's gun. That's the one. Jackson, can you please uh, explain to us the literary theory of Chekhov's gun? Uh, no. I literally can't. Okay. <laughs> I mean, hey, at least you admitted it. I have no idea what that is. Do we even Mo- want to explain it? Is this worth <laughs> explaining? Uh, I don't think it is too much. What about Occam's Razor? Okay. You know that one, Jackson? Yeah, do you know Occam's Razor? Is that the one where it's like the simplest solution is probably the accurate one? Hell yeah, brother. Uh Uh-huh. There we go, I know one. Interesting. Okay, so I looked it up. Ukrainian names are just like uh, regular names or Russian names, but but like spelled wrong. (laughs) Oh, nice. Gotcha. Like, uh, what, what do we got here? Like Ivan. Ivan's a pretty common name, but they spell it Y-V-A-N. Mm. So, incorrect. It looks like most of it is just like swapping out the letter I for the letter Y. Gotcha. Yeah. Or like the name Jerry, but they put two K's in there somehow. <laughs> okay, here's the most confusing one to me. So, Nikolai, my last name, uh-huh. is a common uh, Ukrainian first name and also a common Russian first name. Of course. In Russian... Nikolai is spelled N-I-K-O-L-A-Y. In Ukrainian, it's spelled N-Y-K-O-L-A-I. So they literally just switched the I and the Y in the spelling. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> Which, like, how... That does, they have to be original that, somehow. I guess... Because, like, Ukra- like, the Cra- Ukrainian language has to just be, like, basically Russian. So they must have just, like, started introducing random, like, random things they have to change when spelling things differently. Oh my god. Wait, yeah, this happens a lot. They literally, like, if they have a word that has both an I and a Y in it, they'll just swap them. This doesn't make any sense at all. This is nonsense, dude. You need to talk to some Ukrainian people about this and figure this shit out. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm just going to say that uh, Ukrainian is a silly language. They're silly people, and uh, we shouldn't support them at all. There we go. Here's the big problem about the Ukrainian war, okay? Is that, like, it it fucking delayed the release of Advance Wars, okay? Really? Yeah. Why? Uh, Nintendo felt as though it would be a... it, this was poor timing for a game about war to come out. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty fair. Yeah, the first game is all about like uh, their world's equivalent of Russia invading their neighbors and starting war because of it. Ooh, <laughs> I just found a name that's like fifty uh, percent men, fifty percent women. Name Tanner, it. we're talking about advanced wars now. So here's the wacky thing, though. Uh, Wee. This isn't the first time this happened. Basically, every time an Advance Wars game has uh, tried to come out in the past, it has also gotten delayed due to real-world events. Yeah. Yeah, like... What was, uh, the last, what was the last thing? Like, was it Crimea? No. Was it the Kosovo uh, Wars? So, like... I forget which wars exactly it was. But, like, they've always released when they were supposed to over here in the Northwest, except for... Not Northwest. In North America, except for this most recent one. But in Japan, like, the first game got delayed so much... <laughs> That they just released it alongside the second game instead, which had also gotten delayed by like a couple of years because of another war that had broken out. That's funny. Yeah. Do do the Japanese just not like coincidences like that? I guess not. Whenever a new Advance Wars game is coming out, though, I, I'm gonna be prepared, dude. I'm gonna be prepared. I'm gonna be buying up a fucking bullet stock or some shit. Bullet stock. Yeah. They must That's have. The thing. They must have stock for bullets, right? So I'm sure there's some these. company that sells bullets yeah. and is open. You some could just buy rations. bullets themselves. He could do that. I want to make sure I'm fully loaded for when the world goes to shit, though, you know? 
Concrete he wants prepared. to have he wants to have paper that's worth <laughs> the value of a company that sells bullets, not bullets themselves. That makes more yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, if we had to invent a sponsor the same way, like Alex Jones invented his own supplement brands, uh -huh. what would we make? Hmm. Well, let's think about the brand of Guapish here for a moment, Tanner. What would Guapish sell? What would we put our name on? We'd make, like, face cream made out of foreskin. <laughs> huh. What do they do with the foreskins after they cut them off? Uh, some we just throw them away, them. right? They keep them in a little <clears throat> bottle. Yeah, some mm. people, like, keep it in a box or something. I feel like there's a lot of free foreskin out there for us to make money off of. Yeah. Don't you get the option to, like, take your foreskin home? Like, you can just have it? Yeah, you can. I guess. I mean, you don't. Your parents do. Yeah, which I mean, is it'd even be weirder. It would be pretty weird if the baby was on making the decision, though. Mm -hmm. Some people would argue that that would be much more ethical, though, Jackson. Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there are people that think that. You're right. Yeah. I don't think their opinion should be heard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jackson, the lawyer over here. Oh yeah. my gosh. <clears throat> Laying down the law on these fucking imbeciles. In besides, uh, what if we make a fucking, uh, I don't know, man. I just, what, what's like a supplement that hasn't already been made, right? Uh, something that lets you really shoot ropes, you know? Mm hmm What about like a finger lengthener supplement? Like it Finger. makes your fingers longer. I feel like that's a very easy thing for people to realize is bullshit, though, Tanner, is the problem. <laughs> why, do you, why would you want longer fingers in the first place? <laughs> Maybe you need to reach into a lot of tight spaces. Maybe. What about, like, cum whitener? How does that sound? Okay, yeah. Make your cum white your whiter? <laughs> yeah. I can get behind that. Yeah. Or what about cum dyes? Oh, so, like, dyes. Yeah, do the whole thing. Yeah. Like you can you can pop a pill and then it'll it'll make you come blue for for like a couple loads. Interesting. Okay. Okay. These are million or, dollar ideas we're coming like, up with. Like uh like scents like make your cum smell di like uh, different things like lilac yeah. or whatever. Yeah, pineapple or something like that. Yeah. Ooh, I saw a report that uh, we're getting closer and closer to male birth control. It's about time, dude. It's about time. Uh huh. Tanner, would you take male birth control if it was available to you? Absolutely. How, how severe would the side effects need to be in order you for see, you to not take it? that's the hilarious thing about these articles. Literally all of them say uh, something along the lines of, because men wouldn't put up, would, like just wouldn't take them if there were any significant side effects, they're really pursuing zero side effect male birth control. <laughs> yeah. Which is hilarious because the implication is <laughs> women are just willing to put up with side effects so we can sell them a shittier product. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like how like it's like how pink bicycle helmets are more expensive because women aren't willing to not pay for shit. Yeah. It's like the whole pink text thing wherever the fuck. Like uh care products that are marketed towards women tend to cost more, but like they could also just not buy those versions. Yeah, they just buy yeah. the male version. <laughs> Wacky shit. It's Let's wacky see. shit. So Tanner, how severe would the side effects need to be for you to still use it? For well, for me to not use yeah, it, to you not mean? use it. I don't, I don't know. Death. What, like, De so like you want you me to get up to death? You, you're okay with. You, you, well, like I don't know. You're asking me a pretty nebulous question where I just have to make up side effects now. Yeah, how, um, how how little would they need to be? I mean, I think it, it, if it started affecting. Like uh, like my ability to get boners. Uh huh. I wouldn't want to do it. Uh, what if you get you still get erections just fine, but it burns a little. Like a little? Yeah, just like a little bit. Nah, I, I don't think I would in that case. Damn. Yeah. Just to go back to what we were talking about uh, earlier, real uh -huh. quick. Uh, the world's longest hands. <laughs> How long do you guys think they are? We're measuring from wrist to the tip of the middle finger. Oh god, like, uh, like, nine inches? Okay, okay, Nico? Those are pretty long, those are pretty long. Well, let's see here, I'm gonna measure my hands real quick to get an estimate for how long the average hand would be. Uh... I think your hand is probably about six inches. Uh, looks like it's about seven. Seven? Yeah. I think the world's longest hand is seven inches? No, no, I'm saying that's how long mine is. Uh... Oh, okay. 
Nine inches. If my uh, if mine is like seven, I'd imagine the longest is probably bigger than nine. Let's go with ten. Let's go with ten inches. The longest hands also coincidentally belong to the tallest man who ever lived, and they measure in at twelve point seven five inches. Damn! Wow. Yeah. Pretty impressive. They were also twelve inches across. <laughs> so uh. Twelve inches across too. How? I, th- I think that's just if you if he like spreads his hand out as much as possible and uh, they're yeah. measuring from pinky to thumb. It's like this guy's got fucking oven mints on his hands. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> think about how good he would be at swimming if he wasn't also seven feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> He's got built-in flippers. Yeah. Is seven feet the tall? Ha- haven't there been people that are like nine feet tall? I feel like they have gone that high. Yeah, Let me see. we found like bones and shit of people who were like twenty feet tall. Yeah, giants. Yeah. Do you you believe in giants? Oh, dude, giants absolutely walk the earth. There are too many civilizations who talked about giants walking the earth, and that totally isn't uh, something that humans could conceive of normally. Mm. It's Let's see, stupid. tallest man ever. It's in centimeters. That doesn't help me. Oh, eight feet eleven inches. Oh. So all almost nine. Yeah. Someone someone one day. Will hit nine inches. Yeah. So eight feet eleven. I want to see what the tallest woman is. How close to the tallest man do you think the tallest woman is? Uh, probably four uh, feet tall. I'd say six six <laughs> inches shorter. Half a foot. Six inches shorter. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Tallest woman ever. So tallest man is very close to nine. Tallest woman ever is eight feet one inch. So even the tallest woman ever is still a foot shorter than the tallest man ever. Damn. Damn. Okay, I got a question yeah. for you, boys here. Uh-huh. Uh, what would you say is the most right-wing food chain? Fast food chain. Hmm. Popeyes? Popeyes. That's an interesting question. Popeyes. Place. I don't know any fast food chain, so this is a hard question for me. <laughs> it's... Let's see. It's gotta be... It's gotta be Chick-fil-A, right? Chick-fil-A. That's they a hate pretty the gays. Good they're not big fans. I kind of feel like Arby's. They just give me that vibe, you know? Mm. They feel very they do alt-right have the to meat. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They got the cowboy oh. hat and everything. Um, and I was very Chris, Christian, but I don't really see them as being overly political. Yeah. Um, I, between McDonald's and Burger King, which one's left wing and which one's right wing? Uh, fuck. That's a hard one. Uh, kind of, I'd. Uh, I think since Burger King represents a monarchy, it has to be the right wing option, right? Probably. I was. Go- I was gonna say that. Uh, McDonald's has a uh, fucking Ronald McDonald who's in a white face, so I'd assume that that's like left wing. Mm, right. Okay. What about uh? What about Taco Bell and Del Taco? <laughs> I don't know enough about Del Taco to really answer that, Tanner. Okay. Have you ever been to a Del Taco? <laughs> not to my knowledge. I, I'm not I'm not a big Mexican food kind of guy, Tanner. That's right. You hate your own people. Yeah. Those bastards. They put too much sour cream in their food. That's the big problem here, okay? You cut out a bit? Did Did you just say they put too much semen in their food? No, I said too sauerkraut. Much. Okay. What? <laughs> that makes even less sense somehow. <laughs> I said sour cream, Tanner. Sour cream. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, what? You don't like sour cream? I'm not a big fan of sour cream, no. Why do you not like sour cream? Uh, it's, uh, it's creamy and also sour. It's not even sour, though. I don't know why it's called sour cream. It's not sour. It's not. It tastes really good, though. Yeah, I agree. I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of sour cream. Damn, dude. I'm known to do-do a dollop of Daisy. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh... Now, Tanner, uh, yeah. Uh, as we all know, you're currently working at the old 7-Eleven, right? No. Circle K, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right, Jackson, carry on. <laughs> Me? I don't yeah. want to be the one to bring this up. You're the one who suggested oh, no. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what? Is this a bullying Tanner thing? Are we bullying me now? No, I was literally just plan- asking if you had, like, future plans. Like, what are all what are all the future plans are? Well, uh, yesterday, I, uh, I went and got my fingerprints done because I'm in the process of uh, getting a job as a substitute teacher. 
So, Ooh. that's the plan right now, I guess. Substitute teacher following your ma's footsteps, eh? Not really. What does getting your fingertips done mean? No, my fingerprints. Fingerprints done. What does that mean? Like, 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 like they, 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 they did they literally get your just fingerprints. Copy? Oh, yeah. I, thought, I thought there was something more to that. <laughs> nah, it's like a it's like a scanner machine that scans your fingerprints. Hmm, interesting, interesting. I got some ugly ass fingerprints, by the way. <laughs> Damn. What's so ugly about them? I don't know. There's a lot of cracks and shit in them. Did the person like scanning of- them? tell you this information why do you know or you just, uh, just i saw the i saw the screen as they were being uh, <laughs> recorded unfortunate mm-hmm. sorry to hear that uh, so honestly my mate li- li- honestly the only plan i have right now is i want to get my car paid off uh-huh that's all i want that's the only debt i have in the world and i just i just want to be done with it that's the big tanner plan right now yeah that's Pay the big the car. tanner plan all right. If I become a teacher, you know, maybe that'd be cool. Who knows? What Nico would you, said you want to do- teach, though, Tanner? <laughs> History, philosophy, and political science. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Nico said you got a degree in gender studies. Is this accurate? No. <laughs> okay. That's so some humanities thing. <laughs> and then you use gender studies as the main example. Because <laughs> I can't remember what it was. <laughs> it was social science. That's the one. That- that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> gender studies. Yeah. Could you imagine me with a gender studies degree? <laughs> that's why, that's I, was why so I was so. It. That's why I was so confused. I was like, "There's no way." <laughs> it does kind of sound like me, where I'd like acquire all the knowledge and the terminology that people I don't like use in order to make fun of them in their own language. Like, yeah. I, yeah, I got a fucking degree in gender studies. You don't know shit. <laughs> I know exactly why it's bullshit. <laughs> Gender is real and mine's better than yours. <laughs> now, Tanner, do you think that they would want you teaching politics if you, you being as right wing as you are? He doesn't have to tell them that until he gets the job. Yeah, they won't be able to stop me. What if they discover our uh, channel, though, Tanner? Mm, oh, I don't know. I'm sure. I'm sure they'll know. You know, I'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Your name is in several of the videos. What? I said that your name is in several <laughs> of the videos, Tanner. Oh, yeah, it sure is, but, like, whatever, man. I guess it's fair. They'll never know it's I, you. I can, like, sue them or something, yeah? <laughs> yes, them you for discrimination. You, uh, can't you Can't you do that, though? Like, they're, they're I don't discriminating? Think, I don't think they can, like, fire you for just saying shit, like, in, your own, in the privacy of your own podcast. Mm-hmm. Have I even said anything that concerning here? No. This is where we uh this is where we insert a nice little compilation of all the horrible things Tanner has said. <laughs> let's, I mean, uh, those let's, are all jokes, you know. It's let's all let's out point of to exhibit B in our uh, topics. Uh are all Asian people uh, do all Asian people just have Down syndrome? <laughs> I don't know. Hold Damn. Second, what the fuck? <laughs> that's not what I said. That's that's not what I said. Okay. I'm looking I mean, at let's, right let's now. Cro- let's let's go ahead and cross that cross that one off the list. It's uh, <laughs> is is an Asian with Down syndrome just normal? <laughs> Which is clearly a joke that belongs in the jokes channel, but we didn't have it when I wrote it at the time. Okay. Tanner's always see the Thanos. joke is the joke is that Asians are very smart, so one with Down syndrome would just be an average intelligence person. I'll be like, man, I'm not a big fan of fat people, or uh, I, I don't think that people with Down syndrome can contribute quite as much as people who don't, and Tanner says all this horrible shit and calls me out for what I say. I don't even know what you mean. Mom, Dad, stop fighting. You're crazy. <gasps> I feel like if we did make a compilation, there'd be uh, more concerning things you've said than I have. I really don't think that's true, Tanner. I don't know. <gasps> I think that you. I think that you by far have the uh, far larger repertoire in that area. <laughs> uh, can we all agree that we're all pieces of shit? I mean, no. Jackson, I don't feel like you've said anything too concerning yet. I don't think I have either. Yeah, dude. Uh, I watched. I, I was listening to the fucking Joe Rogan podcast at the gym today. Yeah, it, his recent episode with comedian Ali Sadiq. I just found it really funny that for no reason Ali Sadiq goes on this huge rant about how he doesn't think gay men should be able to adopt kids. What? <laughs> and his whole argument is just like 
listen, <laughs> if you choose that lifestyle, I think you have to have something taken away from you. And for me, that thing should be children. <laughs> Why? It's, what? It's, something, it's something along <laughs> those lines. It was a very funny argument, but it, it also seems like it doesn't seem like it's a joke. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, very that, funny. That's silly. Interesting. Joke, Earlier That's today, so uh, not earlier today, it was yesterday, uh, where, uh, so I was watching this video by good old Wisecrack, okay? Good old Wisecrack. Mm -hmm. the, they delve into philosophy, various pop culture things, and uh, oh, okay. they were talking about Joe Rogan. And oh. at some point they were talking about how inconsistent Joe Rogan is with his ideologies or whatever the fuck. <laughs> because How do you figure? An example that they used was that, like, well, at the start of the pandemic, he had this expert on who was talking about uh, how important it is to wear masks and stuff. And then a year later, he has a different expert on saying how it's not important to wear masks. This is very inconsistent. What? So, so their <laughs> argument that his that his philosophy is inconsistent is that he talks to people with different philosophies. Yeah. Also, a year apart from one another. <laughs> After. Dude, the flaw literally if you type wisecrack into the search board, the philosophy of Joe Rogan is the first thing that That's comes cool. up. I like I like the first sentence in the description, which is does Joe Rogan believe anything? <laughs> <laughs> Potentially. Oh my gosh. What the hell? They make some good stuff every now and then. They're they're the ones who really introduced me to philosophy. That was many, many years ago though. Back when I was still a babe. I think you're still a babe. Oh, thanks, do they babe. actually have? Do they actually <laughs> have good takes on anything? Uh, it's been a while since I've really delved too far into them, so it's okay. difficult for me to say. A lot of these seem like some pretty dog shit takes, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I mean, I'm they sure made a philosophy of Attack on Titan, but five years ago, <laughs> what was even out then? Uh, season one. Okay. I have a feeling that it's not very accurate to what the philosophy of that show is now, given all of it. Probably not. <laughs> I would imagine not so. But who's really to say? There's only one way to find out, and none of us are willing to put in that effort. <laughs> the philosophy of euphoria. Dude, what is... Do you guys have people in your lives that are obsessed with euphoria? No. I've seen things about it every now and then, just because people talk about how hot Zenday is. What is... Uh, what is... Uh, what, what is this show? As far as I can gather, it's it's just about teenagers doing drugs and having sex. Yeah, that's what it is. Why, why do people like it? That sounds stupid and boring. They like hearing about teenagers having sex, Tanner. <laughs> because they missed out on it as a kid. Yeah, that's such a massive I thing. I just, that shit, I, I hate, I can't, I, let me see, do I want to say hate? I, I don't get, like, any movies or shows that are set in high school. Because they're always, because like they always advertise themselves as being like, "Oh, dude, how relatable is this?" and whatever. And they are always just wildly disconnected from what my high school experience is. Uh -huh. That I just watch them like this is this is nothing. This is nonsense. It's romanticizing the high school experience, Tanner. That's all it is. And who are these people that are looking at Euphoria and like, ah, the good old days? Liars. Liars. <laughs> because it feels so real it just feels so real those are people whose brains are still stuck in high school i mean there are a, there are a lot of people who just really peaked back then tanner they don't have much to, going on anymore can you ask your rich girl if she likes euphoria <laughs> yeah sure why not i have a feeling she does i think it's she does too possible. i think Tanner's on something girls. here speaking of girls tanner speaking of girls yeah what the fuck who called me and I didn't even notice? Oh, it was Nico. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got a message yesterday out of the blue on Snapchat from a girl that I went on like two dates with like six months ago. Uh-huh. She, she was like, hey, I'd love to like meet up and catch up uh, again sometime. And so I think it was like a half hour later I saw it and I responded I was like, yeah, that'd be cool or whatever. And then she hasn't replied at all. Like she hasn't even opened it. <laughs> It was a ploy by what our friend I, what, to see if you'd respond. What am I supposed to make of that? Women are just to like be fair. Care. To be fair, when we were like actually seeing each other, that was like very much a thing where like I, I she just never responds to anything, or very inconsistently does. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. 
What's funny is I saw she texted. I was like, whoa, that's weird. She hasn't, uh, we haven't talked in months or whatever. Maybe she's just saying hi. And then my brain immediately 180s and goes to the worst thing possible. And it's like, what if she's about to tell you she's pregnant? <laughs> and then the rational part of my brain kicks in. And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? You had, you had sex once six months ago and used a condom. She's not calling to say she's pregnant. I mean, you never know. She could. She, yeah. You don't know who oh, else she yeah. had sex with around that time to enter. <laughs> yeah, she's calling to let you know that she had sex Six with somebody months else. Later, yeah. <laughs> Just keeping you updated. I'm pregnant now. Goodbye. Who the fuck are you again? Yeah, I mean, it's entirely possible <laughs> that, like, uh, the, the real person who impregnated her didn't want anything to do with her and wouldn't pay for child support. So she was like, okay, well, I gotta find someone else who can then. There you go. And I'm just the guy. Yeah. Um... I found this hit new product. You'll love it. All you have to yeah. do is just buy a hundred dollars worth of it off me. That's right. There you go, Nico. How is how, how's how's the girlies going? Uh, the girlies. Any, are... Anything new in that realm? Not really. No. They, uh, things are not progressing uh, too much at the moment. <laughs> womp womp. Yeah, it's a big bummer. What is rich girl even doing with her life right now? Is she is she collaging? Yeah. That's about all there is to that. <laughs> what are you doing right now? What am I doing? Yeah. Uh, currently, I just recently started a big old internship. Whoa, an yeah. internship? Where? That's, that's right. I'm working for the government, Tanner. I'm working for the government parks and recreation dude, that's district, crazy. dude. Uh, it's fucking as as a graphic designer. As a uh, as a multimedia intern, Tanner. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's the wacky part, Tanner. Okay. Uh, this relates to one of my topics. Being, I'm a minority, and that's okay because <laughs> you see. You're, uh, the purpose of the internship was to find uh, people of color in the uh, in the fucking what's it called? Not not in the like population, I guess. Whatever. Uh, just find just find some folks who could do stuff who also needed to be minorities, <laughs> so they could get more representation. And hey, I classify as a minority, and so. I think that's pretty. Your minority cool. passing. That's so right. you're saying they hired you specifically because you're a minority. Uh, probably due to my other credentials, but uh, they wouldn't have hired me if I wasn't a minority. So, 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 so it yeah. definitely helped. Affirmative action really kicking in for you. Exactly. I'll tell you what, Tanner. I'm not a big fan of it, but when it works in my favor, I'm pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need to like like change up my appearance. And uh, start presenting as really like flamboyantly gay, and yeah. then maybe I'll maybe life will turn out a bit better for me. And you start putting down that I'm bi on every single one of my job applications. Help me out. There you go. Yeah, I think I think that would be fantastic, you know, because like I, I currently get to experience the best parts of being a minority. Mm-hmm. And none of the worst parts, really. Yeah, precisely. Pretty cool of you. <laughs> <laughs> what are they gonna have you doing? Uh, 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 taking pictures, design posters, and shit. I thought you were gonna nice. say paperwork. That sounds right up your alley. Yeah, mostly I've just been doing paperwork because it's the typical government bureaucracy stuff where I have to fucking right. do a bunch of paperwork and watch a bunch of videos about training. That's cool. Have yeah. you been? Are you, you're getting paid? It's yeah, a paid internship. That's right. Wow. It pays more than my job at GameStop. Dude, that's crazy. Right. Let's go. Are you still working at GameStop? Yeah, because I uh, this internship is only like two days a week. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hustling and a grinding, eh? Exactly. Young hustler. What about you, Jackson? How's how's the job going for you? It's going pretty good. I'm making Catholic Netflix right now by myself. That's... what? That's still good? Yeah. I thought you finished it. No, I've got like... I'm budgeted like a whole last month for this. I finished the... Like, this, this is what the project is. I'm making a website, and then I'm making that website run on Samsung TV. So I'm done with the website now. I just need to make it run on a TV. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. So, who you're making Catholic? What What does that mean? What does Catholic Netflix mean? It's Netflix for Catholics. It's basic, literally, exactly that. Like it's just a streaming service for like Catholic content. Interesting. Yeah. Like I work for a like a software company, and they just take orders from clients. So we're taking orders from a company called Catholic TV, and we're making products for them. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Are you getting yeah. paid well? Uh, He's according to my, per I mean, according to what I should be making based on like average data and everything. No, not really. But you know what? I couldn't get any job anywhere else, so fuck it. <laughs> yeah. 
Do you get to work from home or? No, I have to come to an office. It's like a really. It's like ten blocks away though. It's not that bad. Like, it's in it's in town. Big news, guys. Uh, well, I guess this is news only I care about. Anyway, sure, anyway. the next part <laughs> of uh, the the next uh, what is it? The next ten episodes of JoJo Part Six is coming in fall. Never mind. You're right. You were the only one who cared about that. Uh, Truly, yeah. gamers. Since we touched on it briefly, I figured we may as well get this out of our system while we have time. While, while it's still hot, hot on the market. Boys, mm-hmm. what do you hate about women so much? Especially you, Tanner. Why do you just hate them so, so much? What? Why are we talking about this? Uh, because <laughs> you talked about how annoying women are or something. Let's, uh, that's dumb. I don't want to do this topic. Let's talk about Elden Ring for the rest of the episode and then end it. All right, I haven't fair. played it. I haven't played it either. Nico, how's Elden Ring? Elden Ring is kick-ass, boys. I fucking love Elden Ring, okay? What what, what what kind of build are you running or whatever the fuck? Uh, I'm doing like a hybrid mage uh, dex build. Hmm, interesting. How far into the game are you? Uh, not very far, and I spent like 45 hours in it. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Are you doing a lot of side stuff, or are yes, you just getting uh, your ass kicked? No, I, I'm not really dying too awful much. Uh, my big thing whenever I play really any game is I tend to take significantly longer than, like, how long do people say I should. Uh, mm. Because I, I explore so much. I'm looking right. around every single little corner trying to find uh, any hidden secrets that I possibly can. It, it, it's just the way that I do things, all right? I'm, con- I'm constantly doing a little exploring, you know? You feel me, man? Feel me? She Is does the a hype exploring. behind this game deserved? Yes. 100%. It's yeah. all deserved. Eldering does have its uh, issues, you know, but... I mean, honestly, I, I think it's going to be Game of the Year, boys. I think I think we got Game Ooh. of the Year contender right here. I think that the Game Awards this year will be the Elden Ring Awards. Interesting, okay. Is it yeah. the best uh, Souls game? I think I'd probably say so. Wow, crazy! Yeah. Because it, it just it just has all the best parts of all the previous Souls games, you know. How does it stack up to the other Souls in, in terms of difficulty? It so it kind of depends on how on how you approach it, because it has a lot of elements in it that can make it the easiest Souls game. But if you just ignore those and don't actually use them, then it'll probably be the hardest one. <laughs> really. Yeah, like if you're if you're trying to do like a vanilla run, not using like any spirit summons, any of that kind of shit, then it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna fuck you up. <laughs> but if you, if you do want to explore that kind of stuff a little bit, then it'll it'll be significantly easier. You I watched Dunkey and he said it's really unbalanced. <laughs> uh, uh, the only time I'll really use any of that kind of stuff is if it's like uh, there are quite a few like recurring bosses in it. Uh, usually just like in the dungeons or whatever the fuck it's like the mini bosses you'll encounter and so when mm-hmm. it's something like that or it's like a multi boss sort of fight then I'll be like oh f- fuck that I'm not dealing with this right. and I'll just I'll, I'll just do a little summoning otherwise though then yeah I, I, I want to go into things raw okay I want to go into it raw yeah. a handful of the boss fights I've seen I look at them and I'm like oh my gosh these are so much faster than any other souls boss I've ever seen Yes, uh... Like, faster and more mobile. They're, like, leaping around, flying through there. They're doing crazy shit. Yeah, it, it, it's a little bonkers. <laughs> uh, they've decided to do some uh, some pretty crazy stuff with the bosses this time around. Uh, so, they'll have, like, really long combos now and attack mm-hmm. really fast. But also, one thing that they do that uh, Souls veterans just hate is that a bunch of bosses will just, like... They'll just wait to attack you. <laughs> like, they'll, they'll rev up to get ready to like smash your skull in or whatever like they'll lift their big old sword above their head like they're about to attack but then they just don't and they just hang there for a second or two <laughs> j- just a little longer than you expect them to and then they just slam down on you and one shot you that's fun I yeah. like, that's funny <laughs> it really messes with your timing and your expectations of what's gonna happen what's actually funny to me is i see these bosses moving around like animals but then your own personal mobility is still dark souls <laughs> yeah like you can't you can't really match their speed in any way. No, no, no. no. Absolutely not, Tanner. Absolutely not. Do you, you like can't, having you can't a jump match. button? What's that? Do you like having a jump button? 
It's pretty neat. I don't use it an awful lot except for when I'm exploring, but it definitely has some right. uh, uh, some combat uses as well that I have not <laughs> I have not delved too far into. That's mm. one of the reasons I uh, I couldn't get super into Sekiro was because Sekiro gave you far too many like defensive options and shit, and it just broke my brain trying to think of what I had to do. Hmm. Well, this one isn't breaking your brain too much. No, no, no. Because it, the it, it's usually you, you still have like a dodge roll, which is like a it's like a catch-all sort of defensive option for you. Yeah. So that's usually pretty good for you to rely on if you're not sure what else could possibly work in the situation, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. One of the funniest things I've seen out of this was, I'm assuming the Tanner definitely saw this. I don't know if Jackson did well. But the, the fucking like Ubisoft devs and like other developers getting really <laughs> salty about Elden Ring's success. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very funny. The Horizon devs, I think specifically, were. Oh yeah, they were also talking shit. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen any of this stuff, Jackson? Never heard of any of it. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, on on the good old Twitter, the, the the bastion of the internet, people were people were none too pleased with how how great Elden Ring was doing, how much praise it was aloft in. And they, they, they were just—they were just a little salty, okay, Jackson. They were a little salty. Mm. A few developers were calling it out, uh, particularly the <laughs> Ubisoft devs, about like the UI design and shit. Why? Because yeah. it's like old or something? No, it's like um, it's like Elden Ring kind of does like the Breath of the Wild thing, where it's very minimal information. Yeah. Like there aren't like there aren't like markers all over your map for you to go and do or whatever. Yeah, like makes you actually explore. And exactly. But, like, the Ubisoft people and the Horizon people, they come from the school of thought that uh, if you have an open world, you need to baby your audience through it as much as possible. So please put a marker on every fucking thing on the map. But, like, yeah, the saltiness doesn't really make sense because, like, that's just, like, two different approaches to, the, to how to make an open world. I don't think one is necessarily better than the other. Yeah. Like I really like, uh, I really liked Breath of the Wild and exploring, and that is fun. But I'm also a big fan of like the Assassin's Creed style. You know, here's a checklist of things to do. Mm -hmm. But some people yeah. only want one of those standards. They can't stand yeah. the idea that you could possibly have both. Exactly. They're not big fans of immersion, Tanner. They don't like that very much. That is that is one thing that has really annoyed me about particularly the Assassin's Creed games is the the UI in particular because it is just constantly reminding you that like uh, like this is not an actual world that you're exploring this is a simulation that is being played out right now and it it, it just it, it bothers me so much my man <laughs> yeah even to the point where when you die it literally does a whole desync from world uh, yeah. thing funny stuff uh anyway. Let's get a what? What do you, what? As of right now, what's your preliminary score for Elden Ring? Elden Ring, ten out of ten. Love it. It's fantastic. There we go. Guys. Haven't been the game right yet. Here. I already know. I adore it. It's it's awesome, boys. Everyone go Elden there. Ring buy is Elden a Ring. Ten out of ten. Yes. Play Elden Ring. That's the official guapish rating for it. That's the official it. guapish review. Yeah. Elden Ring. Is Werewolf kick Classroom, it. eight point five. Elden Ring, ten out of ten. Yeah. Yes, sir. Bye bye. 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 Thank you.